Starlets. I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. If you want to join my Starlet squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we are talking about a very unglamorous but very necessary subject, unwanted hair removal. Yeah, just gonna put that out there. This video might get a little TMI, I don't know, but I basically wanted to give you a review of the Tria Laser Hair Removal System. To start out, I wanna let you know that I paid for this product myself. I purchased this, they did not send this to me, they did not know I'm making this video. These opinions are completely my own, this is not sponsored. I just bought this, spent a lot of money on it, I'll get to that in a second. I just, I wanna let you guys know how it worked if you guys were on the fence about it, because I do know I was on the fence about buying this for a long time, so I wanna give you my opinions. Let me give you a little bit of backstory with why I decided to purchase this product. I was mainly interested in the idea of laser hair removal for my bikini line. And I'm not going to show you any before or after pictures of that area because one, I forgot to take before pictures, and two, I feel like that could get me flagged on YouTube. It's kind of a personal area, so I'm not going to go there. But anyway, for some reason, my bikini line just... I, I just... I couldn't remove the hair there. I don't know what the problem was. I never really had a problem in any other areas removing hair, but that area, like I'd shave and ingrown hair city would happen, then I would wax and it was like I'd get even more ingrown hairs, but sometimes I'd think waxing was working, sometimes I'd think it wasn't, then I would go through a time where I would shave, I, I was just, it was awful. And I was getting so many ingrown hairs, it was just insane. And I realize it's probably TMI, but it is what it is, people. So I had kind of inquired about professional hair laser removal. I, I'd looked into it, but for some reason I could just never get up the nerve to actually like go through with it. I just kind of kept on doing what I was doing and then when I heard people talk about the Tria at home laser hair removal, I was like, hmm, maybe, I don't know. I still kind of sat on the idea for a long time because I just didn't know. I, I don't know. It's a lot of money. I mean, it's obviously more affordable than getting it professionally done, but I just didn't know if the technology was going to be there or if it was even safe or I just didn't know, so I kind of put it off. And as time went on, I just I kind of kept going back to this. My ingrown hairs were just getting so out of control. I was like, you know what? Let me do more research and actually look into this product. So it was actually, I mean, I read so many reviews. I did so much research and finally decided that I really wanted to give this a try. I got this on Sephora. I think I went back and looked. It was last June that I ordered this. I got, there was, they were having a sale on certain colors of these. They come in like a bunch of different colors and I, they didn't really say specifically, but I think they were discontinuing some of the colors because some of the colors were actually on sale. And you know, I mean, I am like, you kind of want the color you want, but at the end of the day, I kind of felt like I'm not going to put this on display anywhere. I mean, it's one thing with like, you know, if you have like a face brush or Clarisonic or Sonoclear or something, like you put it on your your bathroom counter. It's not gonna be like a conversation piece in your bathroom like, like, ooh, this is how I remove hair from my bikini line. Like, I'm not gonna do that, right? So I was just like, okay, whatever. And I don't even know what color it was that I ordered. And, you know, I got the discount. It was maybe like $100 off. This actually retails for, if you ready for it, I, I looked it up. This retails on Sephora. It's basically $450. I wanna say I got this it was like a hundred dollars off or something, I think. I want to say it was in the three hundred and something dollar range. This was like again back in June, so I think some of the colors were discontinued. I want to say I got it in like a blue or a turquoise or mint or something like that. I was kind of bummed because I would have gotten it in pink or white, but I was like, whatever. I you know I'm not going to spend the extra money if I can get it cheaper. Received it. Open the box. It's pink. Lucky me. So I mean, obviously I wasn't going to argue with them and be like, hey, you sent me the more expensive one when I ordered the cheaper one. I got it pink and I got it for the discount. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes the magic works. What can I say? And I actually also ordered their calming gel, which I'll get to in a minute, that was kind of a waste of money. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. So I started using this, I wanna say like around the June area. It did take some getting used to figuring out how it works. There's a lot of instructions and I was really nervous when I used this because again, this is a laser. There's a lot of safety, devices on here that help prevent it from just like shooting lasers all over the place at you. But still, you are using lasers on your skin. I definitely recommend before you purchase this, read all the information that they have on Sephora and on Tria's website itself because this is a big investment. You want to make sure that you're going to get the most for your money. One thing is, this is not for everyone. Laser hair removal is not for everyone. Laser hair removal is really only effective on people who have light skin and darker hair. My hair naturally 
is not this color. Just again, I'm just revealing all my secrets to you right now. My natural hair color, it's brown. Let's just Let's just put it out there. And I am pale. So I'm a very good candidate for laser hair removal. If you have very, very light hair and or very, very dark skin, laser hair removal will not work for you. Now, it is not discriminating against you. It's just that the technology is not there yet. Really, the laser is targeting the dark hairs and that's how it knows to target the hair and not your skin. Luckily, I fall into that category, so I could use this. I, I also read, they recommend you using this, I believe it's every other week, but I actually read a lot of reviews that said that people didn't start to see results until they started using it every week. I've been using this since June, but I am gonna say, full disclosure, I have not been consistent with it. There have been some times when I have remembered to do it every week. There's some times when I've been consistent doing it every other week. And there have been times in my hectic schedule that I've like got a month and not used it. So I'm just going to put that out there that I have not been completely consistent. So if you are totally, totally dedicated to being consistent, you, you might get even better results than I got. Another thing to keep in mind, you have excessive hair because you have some kind of a medical condition, or if you have any kind of medical condition whatsoever, I would definitely talk to your doctor about this before you go out and purchase this. That really should be true with any kind of beauty device, but especially something like this. But if you are in generally good health and you have just sort of a, a reasonable amount of hair, but it's unwanted and you wanna get rid of it, this is something that you can look into. Figuring out how to use it is a little tricky. It has a safety device on the bottom of it right here. Basically, in order for it to start working, you need to set this area on the bottom on a part of your skin and it senses whether your skin is safe enough to use, which essentially it senses whether or not your skin is light enough in order for this laser to not just fry your skin. Because if your skin is too dark, this is going to think that your whole skin is hair and it's gonna burn your skin. That's just sort of the safety device. Like somebody, you know, who has darker skin can't just pick this up, start using it, and then all of a sudden burn their skin. This basically you set on your skin, ideally the skin that you're gonna use, but sometimes I'll just throw it on my arm or something. And that basically releases the safety, says that it's time to use it. There's a button here on the top that you turn on. It tells you when it's charged, and right now this is locked so that you can't actually use it. So if I put it on my skin, it's not gonna do anything because the lock is on. And it tells you how much of it is charged. And it comes with a charger and everything. If you leave it plugged in, there is actually a fan in here that while you're using it and while it's charging, the fan will come on sometimes. So it does get a little noisy. My issue with this sensor is I can put it on an area that I know is safe and that I know I've used it on a million times before. And sometimes the sensor just doesn't work. Now it works quickly and you have that little thing and now it tells you that it's unlocked because the lock is not on here. You also have this, you can hit this button and it will go, that's level one, level two, level three, level four, and level five. That signifies how strong this actually is. And obviously the stronger that it is, the more effective that it's going to be and the stronger you're gonna feel it. So if you are super, super sensitive and you find five to be too intense, you can go down a level. And when you actually use it, you put it on your, I'm just gonna use it on here, you put it on here, it has a little click. A little note about <laughs> these levels. I am a pretty big wimp. I'm gonna totally admit, fully wimp status, which is one of the reasons why I spent money on this calming gel. They say if your skin is sensitive, you can put on the calming gel and that will kind of like numb the area so that you don't feel the laser. I used this the first time and then ditched it because it's not necessary. I, I have pretty, I think I have pretty sensitive skin and I am a pretty big wimp. I use this without the calming gel on level five, which is the highest setting. And most of the time, like when I just did it on my hand there, I didn't feel anything. Every once in a while, I feel like you will get a spark almost just feels like you know you just felt a spark of like static electricity you know like sometimes you go to like turn on a light switch or something and you get that little spark of static electricity that's all that it is i've never felt anything stronger than that and different areas of the body and i will get to the areas i've used this on in a second but different areas of the body like if you're more sensitive in some areas you'll feel it a little bit more maybe i'm not as sensitive as i think i am i think i'm pretty sensitive but i don't know i can use this on five without the calming gel 
and every once in a while I get a little bit of discomfort but for the most part I never get pain I don't know so basically when I started using this I started using this on my bikini line and what you have to do first is you have to shave the area that's any area that you use it on you shave the whole area and then use this on the area afterwards I was really worried because now when I shave my bikini line that's when my ingrown hairs just go like crazy and I started using this and I have to say, while I do still get the occasional ingrown hair, it is so much less than I've ever had before. And even using it inconsistently like I have been, my hair is not growing back nearly as quickly and nearly as thickly, I guess I would say, as it did before. This made a huge, huge, huge difference in my bikini line. I mean, I do still have to shave the area to prep it for this, and if I just let it go, which you know, full disclosure, I have at some points. I mean, I do still get hair that grows there. It's toned down significantly, and my ingrown hairs have significantly decreased. It honestly has completely changed my life in that sense. So that I, I feel like that area is not constantly covered in ingrown hairs and I'm not constantly irritated and, and it's just this has made a huge difference even though I've been doing it very inconsistently this has still made a huge difference it made such a big difference that I decided to try try it on other areas I've started doing it on my upper lip which for a long time I bleached because my hairs on my upper lip they're very very fine but they're more of a brown so it wasn't like noticeable but I would get like a weird shadow on my upper lip that just bugged me. So I would bleach it, but I got in the habit of just kind of going over it with a little like electric razor, and then I would use this. I would say this is a more sensitive area than my bikini line. I do feel a little bit more discomfort when I use it on my upper lip, but it's nothing that I can't handle. I'll notice sometimes a tiny bit of redness, but it goes away so quickly that I don't really have a problem, and I'll usually put like a moisturizer or something on afterwards, and clears it up no problem and I don't need a special moisturizer or anything just the usual stuff that I'm doing has worked fine the thing about this area is it's kind of hard to tell because the hairs were so fine it's kind of hard to tell whether or not it's made that much of a difference but I do feel like I notice the shadow there less often than I used to before. So I definitely do think this has improved that area, but I've been even less consistent with that and it's only been a couple months I think since I started doing that. I also started a few months ago and I've been also inconsistent with it doing under my arms. The thing about under my arms is that I'll, I have to shave the area every day. And it's not a lot, but it's just enough for me to feel sweaty and just not, not so fresh. I don't know. It's just, I, I just, I've always had to shave my armpits every single day. If I skip a day, I always regret it. But I've noticed since I've even inconsistently started using this under my armpits, like I do still need to shave, like it hasn't stopped the growth that much, but like I can go a day without shaving and not feel like totally disgusting. While I do still shave under my arms and I do to get rid of the hair and I don't feel like this has completely gotten rid of hair in any area that I've used it on completely. This has slowed down the hair growth of any area that I've used it on, even consistently, so much that I feel like this was just such a good investment that I have to say I really do like this product. Is it worth the money? I feel like that's a personal thing. I've never actually tried professional laser hair removal, so I can't really say whether or not it's better or worse than that. I'm a DIY kind of girl, so if I can do something at home and get results, I usually will do it. Really the only thing I go someplace to get done is my hair because it's just too complicated for me to do it myself. But for something like this, I mean, if you are really seriously considering professional laser hair removal, this is definitely a more affordable option than that. Now, obviously, if you are not a candidate for laser hair removal, or if you're like kind of just on the verge, like you have darker skin, and your hair and your skin maybe are close, but you might, like if there's any speculation in your mind, I would go to a professional. If you're somebody who has fair skin and medium to dark hair, this could easily work for you. But if you're somebody who's on the fence or, and I do think there might be laser hair removal treatments for people with darker skin out there, 
but again, you're gonna have to go to a professional. But if you're a good candidate for laser hair removal in general, this will be a more affordable option. I have not had problems with this at all. The only thing I will say is, is that the safety thing sometimes takes a long time. I've noticed a few times I'll sit there and have it sitting on an area that I know is safe and it just won't do it and I'll have to like turn it off and turn it back on again. Well, another thing I will say is is that I've been confused by this before. You can't leave this plugged in charging and use it. You have to unplug it. I'm sure it says that in directions somewhere and maybe I just missed it but I have noticed that because sometimes like I'll leave it plugged in and I'll be like oh I'm gonna charge it while I'm using it. You can't do it. You gotta charge it. That's gotta be separate. It does get a little noisy with the fan. It beeps when you're using it, which isn't super loud, but the fan does get kind of noisy sometimes. So when I leave it plugged in to charge it, sometimes I'll be like in another room and I'll be like, what is that noise? It's not super quiet. So, I mean, that's a little bit of a downfall. Is this worth the price? It's a lot of money. I think it depends on how much you want to use laser hair removal and I think it depends like how important it is to get rid of the hair and how difficult it is. I mean obviously shaving would be a more affordable option. The waxing can get expensive too. I think it just depends. I mean if you are using, if you're shaving or waxing or anything and you're removing hair and you're you're happy with the way it is or maybe you're using a depil a depilatory, depil I never know how to say that. I used one of those like you know, the cream where you put on is supposed to melt the hair away. I used one of those on my bikini line one time and I got the worst burn. I, like it literally looked like my skin was like burnt off. So I've had some bad experiences, let me say. But if you're really happy with how you're removing your hair and you're not having any problems, you're not having a lot of ingrown hairs, your hair is, you know, feeling fine and you're doing okay with waxing or shaving or anything, you might want to save your money. But if you are like me or you have an area that you're just like, I just cannot figure out how to make this work, like waxing isn't working, shaving, I mean you do have to shave in order to use this, but you don't have to shave as often after a while. This could be something you might want to invest in. I will also say though, this can be time consuming to use, especially with, I mean I find it really is most effective when you use it every week at minimum every other week in order for it to really be effective. And it takes time. So for something like your legs, this could take forever. For an area like your bikini line even, that takes a while for me. Under my arms takes uh, not quite as long, but a little while because you could do both arms. And my lip takes like no time at all. For a larger area, you probably aren't gonna wanna sit there and do this like on your whole leg area. But for a smaller area, you know, maybe your chin, that kind of thing, you might wanna look into it. So I hope that answered any questions that you might have about the Tria. I'm really happy that I purchased this and I really hope this answered any questions that you might have if you were thinking about purchasing this or on the fence about it. I know when I was setting this up I got kind of confused and had a question and I actually tweeted Tria and they got back to me right away. So I feel like their customer service tends to work pretty well. But if you have any questions for me about this product or any other product that you'd like me to review, please let me know. Leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. A while back, I was suffering from anxiety and depression, and I truly believe that beauty and makeup saved my life. And I believe it can save yours too. So if you want to join my Starlet Squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels. The links will all be in the description box below, along with a link to this product right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.